So I've practiced 1.7 question number one. So this is the function f x over x plus one. So the question a asking you to find the iterative functions of the f square, f cube, and f4. And for the b, hints write the function of the f20 and the f23. So first of all, we're going to find the iterated functions. So for the a, the f square here is formed when you insert the function f into the function f, right? So here the fx is x over x plus 1. So this is the ones that we are going to insert into the x in our function f. So next you are going to have x over x plus 1 over x over x plus 1 plus 1. Now, for the denominator part here, if we want to co combine this into 1, so we need to equalize the denominator. So the number 1 here is 1 over 1. So I'm going to equalize the denominator by multiplying it with x plus 1. Now, next, this is a fraction. So this also means this is divide, right? So x over x plus 1 divide by, so I'm going to combine all this together, so I'm going to have x plus, so for this part, I'm going to have x plus 1 as well, over x plus 1. So I can combine them together now because they are having the same denominator. So next, so I'm going to change this to a multiplication, so this one is going to be a flip over, so x plus 1, and for this part, I'm going to combine the x plus x, I will have 2x plus 1. Now, let's on, I'm going to simplify this one by cancelling this x plus 1. So finally, I'm going to get x over 2x plus 1. So that is the answer for the f2 that we have here. Now, let us look, move to the uh, f3 here. So this is form when you insert the f square into the function f. So the f square is what we have find in the first part here, which is the x over the 2x plus 1. So this is the one that we're going to insert into the x in our fun function f here. So we are going to have x over 2x plus 1 over x over 2x plus 1 plus 1. Now the same thing here, if I want to combine this together, so 1 is the same as 1 over 1, so I'm going to multi equalize the denominator by multiplying it with 2x plus 1. So next we are going to have x over 2x plus 1, so divide by this, so I'm going to combine them together, x plus, so here I'm going to have 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. So next, multiplications, they will flip over 2x plus 1 over, so this one combines together, x plus 2x is 3x plus 1. So next, I can cancel this 2x plus 1. So finally, I'm going to have x over 3x plus 1. So that is the answer for the F3. Now let us move to the third one, the F4. So this is formed when you insert the F3 into the F. So F3 is what you have finds here, which is the x over the 3x plus 1. So this is the one that you're going to insert into the x in our function f. So next you're going to have x over 3x plus 1 over x over 3x plus 1 plus 1, right? So to combine this together, so 1 is 1 over 1, so I need to equalize the denominator by multiplying with 3x plus 1. So next, x over 3x plus 1 divides 
by this so I'm going to combine them so x plus x plus so this one will give you the answer of 3x plus 1 over 3x plus 1 next multiplication so this one will be flip over so this part will give you the answer of 4x plus 1 next I can simply cancel this one these two so finally I will have the answer of x over 4x plus 1 right now for the questions B hence write the functions of the f20 and the f23 so we are not going to solve this one by one now let us look at the patterns that we have here so when you are having an f square right now look at the answer that you have here all of them the numerator is always the same x x x but if you look at the denominator the one that changed is this the coefficients for the x here right if you have f square you're going to have 2x here if you have uh, f3 this one is going to be a 3x right this one is f4 this one is a 4x right so if you look at the patterns that we have here so for the answer for the f20 right then it's going to be x over 20x plus 1 right the only thing that change is this one if you according to the patterns that we have so therefore we can also solve for the for f23 right so it's going to be x over 23x plus 1 Question number two. So fx is equal to one over x. So the question asking you to find the iterated function of uh, the f2, f3, and the f4. And the b is asking you to find the value of the f40 and f43 when the object is two. So look at uh, part a first. So this f square here is formed when you inserting the function f into the function f. So the function f that we have is 1 over x so this is the one that we're going to insert into the x in our function f so next we're going to have 1 over 1 over x so this means oh, uh, this is a fraction it also mean a uh, division right so 1 divided by 1 over x so this is the same as 1 times x over 1 right so finally you're going to have the answer of just x so this is the answer for the f2 now move to the f3 so f3 is formed when you inserting the f square into the f right so f square is the one that you find in the first part here which is the x so the x is the one that you're going to insert into the x here so what you're going to get is 1 over x now let's move to the uh, f4 this is form when you insert the f3 into the f right so f3 is the one that you get here which is 1 over x so this is the one that you want to insert into the x here so you're going to have 1 over 1 over x so it means 1 divided by 1 over x is when you change it to multiplication it will become x over 1 so finally you're going to have x for the f4 here now if you look at here then we have a pattern here right now if you have an f square it's going to the answer is going to be x if you have an f4 it's going to be x as well but when you are having uh, f3 you're going to have the answer of 1 over x so the pattern is if you have an even number for your functions then you're going to have the answer of x if this one a uh, number for your function here is an odd number then you're going to have 1 over x now by knowing these patterns then you can solve for the b quite easily so if you have f40 right 
So this one, if you look at here, this one is an even number. So uh, you are going to get the answer of x, right? So if you're if you're going to have an object of two here, according to the questions here, then we're going to replace this x with two. Then there you have it. The image for the f40 with the object of two is two. Now let's move to the next one, which is the f43. Now the 43 here is an odd number. The four is going to follow the pattern of the f three that we have here, which is uh, the one over x. So when your object is two, so we're going to replace the x here with two. Then the image of it is one over two. Question three. The surface area of a hot air balloon A filled with hot air is given by the function A, which is equal to four pi r square with then input of r where r is the radius of the balloons in meters the radius of the balloon increase as a function of time t in seconds according to this formula r is equal to 2 over 3 t where t is our input so a state the surface area of the balloon a as the functions of time now the functions a that we have here is as a functions of radius as r is our input so when the question a is asking you to state it as a function of time it means we are going to replace the r here with 2 over 3 t in other words to say it, we are going to insert the functions r into the functions a and it's going to form a composite functions of a r so for part a we are going to form the composite functions of a r with an input of t which means we're going to insert the functions r into the functions a. So the functions r that we have is equal to three, 2 over 3 t. So this is the one that we're going to insert into the r. So 4 pi and the r we're going to replace it with 2 over 3 t square. All right. So for this bracket, we're going to square it. So we are going to have 4 over 9 t squared so we are going to multiply this so 4 number with number 4 times 4 over 9 we're going to have 16 over 9 pi t squared so that is the composite functions of ar and for the b find the surface area of the balloons after 2 seconds now the times t has been given which is two seconds so we can insert it in our composite functions that we find in a so now the ar the t we're going to replace it with two so 16 over 9 pints so the t we're going to replace it with two two square so later on we're going to have 16 over 9 pints so this one will give you the answer of Four. So multiply it, then we're going to have 64 over 9 pi. So that is the answer for the B. Question number four. A cylindrical container of radius 20 cm contains 200 cm cube of water. The container is filled with water at a constant rate of 100 cm cube per second. So the question is A1. Write the formula of the amount of water in the container V after T seconds. So originally you already have 200 centimeter cube of water inside the container. Later on you're going to add in with uh, the water at a constant rate which is 100 centimeter cube per second which means 1 second 100 centimeter cube, 2 second 200 centimeter cube. So the amount of water that is added in is the same as 100 multiplying uh, the time given, which is the T, right? So for the questions A1, the amount of water, which is represented by the letter T with an input of T is 200 plus 100 T. 
T. So this 200 is this original amount of water inside the container. And then this 100 T is the nut is the volume of water that is at in at the constant red after the t seconds. So questions number two. Write the formula of the heights of water in the container H in terms of V. So this container here is a cylindrical container. So to find the volume of a cylinder is the volume is equal to pi R2 H. So we want to find the height uh, in terms of V, which means we're going to set this H here as the subject of the formula. So we're going to move this pi R square to the other side. So H is equal to V divided by pi R square. So in this question, the radius already given, right, which is 20. So I can replace the R that I have here with 20. So pi 20 square. So 20 square is going to give you the answer of 400. So 400 pi. So that is the height of water in the container in sum of V. Number three, uh, write the formula of the composite function of HV. So the composite functions of HV with an input of T is from when you insert the functions v into the functions h. So v here, we already find it at a1, right? So which is 200 plus 100t. So this is the one that we want to insert into the h. So we're going to insert it at the v here. So we're going to have 200 plus 100t over 400 pi now we can simplify this so for the numerator parts here we actually have a common factor of 100 so 100 bracket 2 plus t right so after you expand it you're going to get back 200 plus 100 t over 400 pi so this one we can simplify it you're going to have 1 and this one become 4 divided by 100. So finally, you're going to have 2 plus t over 4 pi. So that is the composite functions of HB. And for the part B, find the height of water in the container after 20 seconds. So to find the height of the container after 20 seconds, so we're going to use the composite functions of the HB here. Now the times we're going to replace it the T with 20. So it is equal to 2 plus. So the T here we're going to replace it with 20 as well over 4 pi. So we're going to have 22 over 4 pi. So if we solve this with uh, the value of pi is uh, in inserts into the formula and you solve it using your calculator, you're going to have the answer of 1.75 centimeter. Question number five. A small stone is thrown into a compound and produce a circular ripple. The radius of the ripple R in centimeter is increasing at the rate of three centimeter per second. So A, find an expression for the radius R in terms of times T after the stone is thrown. So based on the red given here, the radius of the water ripper, after one second, it will become three centimeter, two seconds later, six centimeter, three seconds later, nine centimeter. So you can find the radius of the water ripper by multiplying three with the times given in seconds. So for questions A, you can find the radius with an input of t here by multiplying 3 with the times given uh, which is t in second which is 3t. For questions b, if a is the area of the ripper, explain the meaning of the composite functions ar. So before we look before we look at the composite functions of ar, let us look at the functions a first. The Water ripper is in the form of a circle, so you can find the area of the ripper by using the formula of the circle, which is pi r square. 
So the function a here will have an input of r. So this function a is representing the area of the water ripper. So as a fu as functions of radius. As radius is the input in this case. So now let us look at the composite functions of AR. So the composite functions AR is from when you insert the functions R into the function A. So the functions R is the one that you find at the questions A here, which is equal to 3T. So A bracket 3t. So 3t is the one that we want to insert into the functions a. We're going to insert it at the r here. So later on, we're going to have pi bracket 3t square. So 3 square is going to give you the answer of 9, and then this is going to give you the answer of t square. So let us rearrange this. So number at the front. So we're going to have 9 pi t square. So what is this composite functions mean? So this composite function is still representing the area of the water ripper, but now our input is the t, which is the time. So it's going to be the area of the water ripper as functions of time which is t in seconds. So that is the meanings of the composite functions of AR. Area of the water ripper as functions of times t in seconds. Now let us look at questions C. Find the area of the water ripper after 30 seconds. So for this question C, we can solve it by using the uh, composite functions of AR. Now the time given is 30, so the input is going to be 30 equal to 9 pi. So the t here is going to replace it with 30 square. So 30 square will give you the answer of 900 multiplied by this 9 here. We're going to have 8100 pi centimeter square. So that is the area of the water ripper after 30 seconds. 